Hello guys, good morning, how are you? I don't know what part of the world you are in, but uh, right here in Nigeria, it's morning, so... <laughs> and I don't know when I'm gonna put this up. Anyways guys, quick one, I just wanted to say something real quick and just laugh and just put it out there, you know? And it's been a while since I've talked about political stuff, so I'm just like, you know what, we're gonna do this. I'm on my way to work, I'm in an Uber. Yay, say hi to my Uber driver. <laughs> <laughs> Good morning. Good morning. <laughs> so basically, um, guys, I know you've been hearing me say it a lot, but you can go uh, download the Uber app and use Akamiwe, A K A H U E, and um, you get a free, you get credit off your first trip. Yay! You get some money. Okay. Anyways, guys. So basically. I'm literally rolling on the floor. So EFCC, let, let me tell you what's been happening. So EFCC has found some monies. You know, Buari Sisi Kimi has been fighting that. Ah, they stole all our money in this country. And so he's on a quest to get everything. Basically, they find some money in a bank, Sky Bank, and then uh, they freeze the money. <laughs> they frozen it. And then they hold the people that, you know, have been using the accounts four men like this i will not bore you with their names and then three companies that actually don't have addresses and i will not bore you with the names again so basically i just want to give you the full gist the real gist so basically they've accosted these guys they've found out that these companies are fraudulent they don't have any addresses and then they've now said you know what you have 13 million dollars in one account and then another so so, so, so million dollars in one account. everything comes up to 31 million dollars and they're like you know what we are freezing it we are gonna and I like this. We're gonna destroy you and everything. Next thing, <laughs> patience. Jonathan comes and lays claim to the money and says, "Excuse me, it's not their money. It's my money. Leave my money alone. I work hard for it. I work hard. I'm just like, <laughs> oh my god, <laughs> he's laughing." <laughs> Like, don't you, like, what do you think? What do you think? What do you think? Tell me what you think. <laughs> it's very funny, right? <laughs> like, have you seen the news? Have you read about it? No. Oh, you didn't? You, this is the first time you're hearing about it? Yeah. So basically, patients, Jonathan is now saying that, please, you people should leave the money alone. <laughs> <laughs> but while I am not angry with patients, Jonathan, what I cannot seem to understand is why some people have chosen to be fools and to be used as such. I, 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 do, I don't understand Nigerians. I don't understand Nigeria. And I've never been able to understand how human beings who are suffering from the oppressor choose constantly to be used by the oppressor to continue the oppression. There are certain advocacy groups, certain, you know, uh, human activists and right groups or whatever they're called, and even militant groups that are fighting for patients Jonathan's money to be released. I mean, while I'm not angry with patients Jonathan, because I mean, when you're ha when you're funny, you can't get away with anything, especially when it comes to me. You can get away with a lot of things. She's funny, she's made me laugh a lot. But I thought that the foolishness will end there. However, it's serious case. There are people that are carrying placards. People that are screaming. People that are fighting. People that are even threatening the government. That they, that Kasala will bust if Patience Jonathan's 13 billion, 13 million dollars is not unfrozen. I don't understand this. I, I. When will we learn? When will Nigerians wake up? The people that are fighting for this money to be released to her is their money that she stole from them. I get that it looks like the Jonathan administration is being targeted. But I mean, who we target? That who would be the, who would be targeted before? If you didn't steal. Will you be targeted? Will you? I mean, Jonathan's era was not 
even about corruption. That's what's pissing, I feel, Buhari off. It's not about corruption. It wasn't about stealing money. There are some people that stole money, but they are not catching them because they're like, your money is not the kind of money we are looking for, the money you stole. It's not the kind of money we are looking for. It's not the kind of money that will save Nigeria now. It wasn't corrupt. It, you see, Jonathan's administration, the, it, they were in impunity. Look, look, she's like, yo, don't... Those guys are not the guys that own the money. It's my own. So, <laughs> so now, and Nigerians are like, what? So she's like, see, it is, she, this woman literally, I don't know who her advisors are, but they now go and they, they are suing the EFCC and they're suing Skybank. And they're like, she's like telling nigerians she went to newspaper and then she's like she's calling all nigerians to help her fight against organizations that are fighting against her fundamental human rights <laughs> the audacity the audacity of it all like her human rights <laughs> oh my god she's suing the efcc Oh, of this woman you know literally like you know normally i will be irritated i will fight i will scream i will insult this woman gives me life i'm rolling like i'm laughing so hard why can't jonathan hold this woman like sir control your wife i don't like if nigerians can use their own hand to put themselves in fire and continue putting coal in the furnace for them to bone finish then what hope do we have what hope are we talking about i saw it like this i shocked i was shocked i'm saying who is gogging i thought i gogged so i refreshed the page i refreshed the news in fact i now went to see video they were fighting that the government should release john a patient jonathan it is a human rights what do you guys think like do you think we should fight for her fundamental human rights and that she actually worked for this money? <laughs> guys, I'm so late to work. I hope you guys have watched the previous video, the one with Nick Butuma and Chia Goziem, and I hope you like it. And go watch This Is It series, all right? Anyways, guys, um, I'm enjoying my ride with, in the Uber. I'm going to, uh, to work. I hope my Uber driver drives faster because right now I'm not concerned about safety. I'm about getting to work. <laughs> mm -hmm. See this man that was blocking me. Kekeo Nape, they can just pack, decide to pack anywhere on the road. That's how they are. Anywhere. Then you, you now start trying to see how you can enter your road, your road. Anyway, so guys, November, December, from the November, 6th of November to the 19th or 9th of December. Anyway, shall December, December, I shall give you the correct dates. But just know that all of you that are coming from behind, November, December, I'm gonna be in town. I'm gonna actually be in a musical, in a play, okay? So guys, make sure you come, watch it. It's gonna be showing at Muson Center, Ajip Hall. It's called Heartbeat, it's by Lufoto Productions, Joker Silva and Olu Jacobs uh, production. So it's theater, it's a musical. I'm going to be singing, I'm going to be acting, I'm going to be dancing. The hardest, hardest thing I've ever done in my whole entire life. The biggest challenge of my life. I'm dancing and dance is like further mathematics. Like now I salute people like Beyonce, even people that literally, see, people like Mariah Carey that just do like this and do like this. That dance, I salute you for doing it. It's not easy to do. To remember dance routines, while singing and acting, it's crazy. Anyways, guys, <laughs> bye. <laughs>